During this time of year, you know, the training camp slash preseason months, the first month before the start of the season, we as football fans, we tend to get overly, overly optimistic. And when the season starts, if our team's struggling, going through some early growing pains, then all of a sudden, that optimism turns to impatience. Two perfect examples last season, New England Patriots and the Green Bay Packers. Oh boy, the Patriots. Oh man, everyone thought the dynasty was over after that Kansas City game. And what happened? Oh well, kind of won a Super Bowl. Green Bay. Oh, those cheeseheads, they were freaking out after a slow start. And Aaron Rodgers told everyone to relax and they made it all the way to the NFC Championship game. And they should have won the NFC Championship game. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up I just had a discussion on Twitter and, you know, we're, we're becoming way, way, way too overly optimistic about Ja'Cory Shepard. People just think he's going to step in and be the same type of player as Brandon Boykin. And you know what? I like Ja'Cory Shepard and he is going to eventually become, you know, Brandon Boykin in terms of the production. But the key word there is eventually. In fact, you know, his rookie season, there are going to be a lot of growing pains. A lot of struggles. If you guys think he's just going to come in here and be Brandon Boykin from last season, you guys are completely naive. It's not going to happen. All right? So I, I just want to forewarn you guys really quick. This is my version of the relax speech. I saw Shepard play firsthand. I covered Kansas when they played TCU. And Shepard just, oh my God, he just jumped out at me. The ball skills, always around the ball. But there is a very, very difficult transition from the college ranks to the pro ranks at cornerback. What you think is tight coverage in college? Huh. You ain't seen nothing yet in the pros. It's a completely different style of play as a quarter. Because in college, you play the man. In the NFL, you play the air. The air between the corner, the quarterback and the wide receiver. Two completely different styles. There's a learning curve. Brandon Boykin, his first season, he struggled. Struggled during his rookie campaign. Obviously figured it out his second year. Six interceptions, great season. But to actually think that Ja'Cory Shepard's going to come in here and be the savior, it's not going to happen. Not his first year. And I got the research to prove it. All right. 35 cornerbacks were taken in the NFL draft last season. And for this study, I went and looked at the, the corners that went third round or higher. There were 28 of them. All right, so out of the 28 cornerbacks, only two, two out of the 28, that is 7%, went and had a solid rookie season, you know, that I would say played up to the same level or close to as Brandon Boykin last season. They are Ben A. Ben Wickery of the Carolina Panthers and E.J. Gaines of the St. Louis Rams. You can maybe make an argument for Bashad Breland of the Washington Redskins, but yeah, he, he kind of collapsed down the stretch. And there is another name you could throw out there, although because he was undrafted, so he wasn't drafted, and that's Kawan Williams of the Cleveland Browns. Even if you look at the first two rounds, there were only two that stood out. Jason Verrett and Kyle Fuller. And Kyle Fuller kind of was overrated because, you know, everyone just knows, you know, Fuller from the Monday night game against the Jets and how incredible he was in that game. But my point of this is if you guys think that Shepard's going to come in here and play up to the capabilities of what Brandon Boykin did last season, not going to happen. The odds are on my side. <laughs> I mean, 
God, it, it, it was a frustrating conversation. Very, very frustrating. I tried. They weren't having it. But when Shepard struggles early on, please, 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 please don't get impatient. Let him develop because he's going to be a good player. But, man, there is such a transition, such a learning curve from college to the pros. I've seen it. I've watched a lot of football. I know how it works. Just be patient. Relax. That's all I got to say. And, uh, you know, even if Shepard struggles, um, it's, it's not like there's another guy you can just plug in there. All these guys are inexperienced. If anything... You know, maybe you put Watkins in there, but he hasn't really played either. He played one game last year against the Giants. At least, you know, from a from a snaps perspective of getting a lot of snaps. Now, this is where I wanted to address this because some of the guys were like, well, you can just put Thurman in the slot, but I'd rather have Thurman play safety because... The way we play safety, base personnel, we have that safety playing the slot. So, you know, for instance, Brandon Boykin only played 43% of snaps last season, and that's because the Eagles stayed in base. They had their safety play the slot, play the nickel. Well, the slot. So, um, so yeah, so so that's the point I wanted to make. You know, um, again, just just be patient. Uh, Ja'Cory Shepard's going to be a good football player, but it's not going to happen this season. He, there's a reason why he went in the sixth round, all right? Sure, yeah, sure. You know, some of that was due to injury because, you know, he, he was hurt. He ran a slow 40 time. He fell down the ranks. But let's say he ran a good 40. Okay, so he goes, what, third round, fourth round? He wasn't a top, you know, first or second round pick. So, um, yeah, man. So, uh, you know, I, I watched Shepard in college. Um, you know, I covered a game with, with Kansas and TCU. Really, really caught my eye. The way he closes the gap on the ball, you know, he, he's got great ball skills. Always around the ball. But again, expect him to come in here rookie season and, you know, be like Deion Sanders or something. Don't get your hopes up. Watch, he's going to go and prove me wrong. But, um, yeah. I mean, two guys out of 28 last year. Go ahead. Go run down the list of guys who were taken last year in the NFL draft. You tell me how many of them were as good as Brandon Boykin last year. So, yeah, we'll see. But right now, you know, it's funny because we as Philadelphia, we, we do this all the time. We get optimistic, and then when we struggle – we get impatient. So, yeah, that's it. I've been rambling on too much. Follow us on Twitter at the Bitter Birds. I'm out. Later.